What am I even supposed to think that's made of? Is that just human flesh? Like just a solid pool of bubbling gore? Like what? What is this cartoonish evil I'm looking at? Hmm. And also, this that one looks really deep, which seems to imply that the other one was also that deep, and that's how full it is right now, which is all which is equally distressing. That said, that thing in the pool seems to be it seems to be an android and not a person, despite everything, even though it looks like it's bleeding. Or maybe it is a person and they just have a thing on their head that's sparking like a machine that malfunctioned. Three things stand out to me immediately as interactive. There's a thing in the bottom of the screen that's flashing at me. Seems to be a new tool or something. Up top we have a PDA like usual. And then there's this... Up here there's this... Oh, it's a whip. Strip of leather sways gently. I was gonna say like it's glowing purple? This looks really weird, by the way. This game's really visually polished and amazing looking for the most part, but there's like two floating streaks of burning something, and it looks really strange. It looks like the type, like they'd be carved into the side of something, and then whatever's inside is flammable and burning. But from here, uh, yeah, this seems to be a computer terminal with like a shelf on it. And then this seems to be the floor. And somehow there's like a curving track of carved up something. Which also, this appears to be, I think that's the same fire repeating twice. And it doesn't seem to fit that surface or this surface. I think I can make out that the counter ends like right here. And so like the, 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 the fissure is like floating away from it. But then it's the same one twice. It's just like this This right here just looks really weird and out of place compared to the rest of the game. Huh. Let's see what you are. Voice recorder. An authoritative voice broadcast from the tiny recording device. John Kerr, note to self. All that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. Leviticus 9.10 Excuse me? <clears throat> If it's in the ocean and it doesn't have fins and scales, then it's an abomination. Like octopuses and stuff like that. There is kind of like a fun Lovecraftian implication of sorts. Why do I have this though? It's in my inventory. So it's not just a lore item, it's useful. Maybe I have to get past a voice print in order to open something? Floating corpse, lacerated ribbons of flesh and muscle tissue frame the shattered vertebrae like some grotesque work of art. A mangled PDT clings to the spinal cord. Ah. So that's, that is a person. Distressing. Organic fluids, it smells like an abattoir. Hey, is that a word I learned from, uh... From Pathologic and didn't actually know it was a real word or not. I thought it might have been just made up for the game, but apparently it's just a word I don't know. It seems to be a word that deals with flesh processing or something. I know how to look at this. Abattoir. Oh, it's a slaughterhouse. Okay. Now I learned a thing. There we go. It's fun to look up words mid-video. <laughs> I did not know what an avatar was. I didn't look it up this entire time I was playing Pathologic for over 100 episodes because I thought it might have been a made-up word, but no. It's just a synonym for slaughterhouse. Yes, I would imagine it does smell like that. It's a pool of gore. Isn't it grand? Let's read the, PDT, the PDA before I press buttons. Hello. You look different. They were growing someone. They were trying to grow Kane. 
Cloning is unpredictable. Cloning an individual is... is impossible. It sounds like they were using something special. Something called Samantha. Okay. I was wrong about John. John's name is John Kiern, so John is not Kane. Although the Kiern and Kane are, if not in spelling, in pronunciation, surprisingly close to each other. Huh. I'm wondering if something really, I'm, you know, it's a horror thing and you expect a twist or a reveal, right? So I'm just trying to anticipate what's going on here. What if Kane is this character that's so rich they want to be immortal, so they want to clone themselves, right? What if they're cloning them in the bodies of various pregnant people? Like, what if, what if they kidnap uh, pregnant women and then try to replace their baby with a clone of Cain or inject the fetus while it's in really early development with something that would make it manifest as Cain? Ooh. Which makes me wonder, because this, this guy... This person we're talking to doesn't know who they are or where they came from, or what their name is, but they have weird memories of being this rich dude that looks down on people that didn't earn it, and stuff like that. Which makes me think CEO, which makes me think, like, I'm like, if they're trying to clone Kane in, in pregnant people, if that's the conclusion we go to, what if the person I'm talking to is a clone of Kane? Although, how is it talking to me from inside me, is what I'd wonder? That's distressing. <laughs> Or it's just the original Kane, but just just the fact that they say they can't see, and they can't hear, and they can't like do they can't do anything, but they can move a little bit in whatever dark place they're stuck in, <clears throat> and they have memories that they barely understand, but they don't know their own name. That makes me think maybe that's maybe I'm talking to a clone. <clears throat> Professor John Kieran, February 9th. Today is a holy day. Hendry Kane himself has arrived, frozen and waiting for the great harvest to come. Soon the flesh of the immortal vessel will bring him new life. We're closer than ever, and I know it. The race has begun, and I will not allow Dr. Adams, the heretic he is, to win. No, Kane will not allow it. He knows his plan. And he knows that it ends with me. Our Leviathan is Samantha. Nothing on earth is her equal. A creature without fear, the book of Job. 31, 41, 33. What? Our Leviathan is, which part, which part of that is the book of Job? 41, 33. Can I Google that? The book of Job 41 33. It's the Bible. Like, it's probably already on. It's fun being able to just skip around, isn't it? My God, there's 500 versions of this study Bible. God's power shown in Leviathan. He leaves a glistening wake behind him. One would think the deep had white hair. Nothing on earth is his equal, a creature devoid of fear. He looks down on all the haughty. He is king over all the proud. There's a whole bunch of versions too, probably. English Standard Version. On earth there is not his like, a creature without fear. International Standard Version. There's nothing like him on earth. He was created without the ability to fear. My god, there's a billion translations of the Bible. One of these days I should probably get around to reading one of them. Just for con cultural significance. Or frankly, because it's my job. <laughs> because it just comes up in video games. Like straight up, like I'm going to read, I'm probably going to read the Bible and all of the works of Lovecraft. Primarily because of how much they come up in video games in various forms and media and because if I'm less playing stuff Then this kind of information is more relevant to me man. I hate reading ancient doc documents though. The verbiage is infuriating The race has begun. I will not allow dr. Adams the heretic he is to win Kane will not allow it. He knows his plan and knows it ends with me This guy definitely seems fanatical which is the fact that he keeps quoting the Bible and he's got like 
what vaguely looks like a priest garb, I guess, might reinforce that. February 14th. Never again will he die. Never again will he feel pain. Never again will he leave us. He will be reborn of his own duplicate flesh and not that of Adam's and his ridiculous mind transfer parlor trick. He seems nice. March 13th. We are getting closer. Our next patient has undergone the new and improved genetic fusion procedure and is reacting well. The spinal cord has been killed, meaning that the dead cells will need to regenerate and reform into a functioning spine. No signs of physical rejection thus far. The cellular regeneration is slowly beginning. It should reconstruct itself overnight. The new patient. <clears throat> what is the most... So they're framed as being over the course of a year, right? All these messages. The year is never mentioned. It's just the month and the day. I'm a little concerned. His last entry was on December 15th. This entry where he's talking about the new patient is March 13th. Nine months ago. Nine months earlier in a pregnancy, perhaps? I don't know. It's just over nine months, though. I, although I don't know exactly how long a pregnancy is. It might, it might be a little over nine months for all I know. Uh, but this is two days oh, higher than nine months, and she was pregnant before she was, before she knew to get the abortion, if that's what she was doing. <clears throat> so I'm not super sure, but I'm just wondering if I'm the patient. May 30th. Tonight, we test again. We'll be using the same procedure as before, but this time an enzyme inhibitor will, introdu will be introduced to prevent excessive tissue generation. We must not accept failure. We will bask in the light of Cain's restored glory. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Revelation 2.11. So they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to overcome death, specifically for rich man Cain. Three months, uh, two, oh, no, no, that's May. Oh, wait, whoops. May 13th. Whoops, mixed up March and May for a second there. That's embarrassing. I was thinking of March. Yeah. So May would work then because he was, he was already two weeks deep, right? That's when he said the new patient, right? Oh, wait, did I accidentally skip ahead? That was... I may have skipped ahead. No, that was March 13th. I'm not crazy. I just skipped some text on accident. Whoops. March 14th. Our Lord has stricken us with inadequacy. We have failed yet again. This is my fault, and I must, as always, accept responsibility. This time, I've added hooks to my whip. Oh. And I shall flagellate until dawn. I will elaborate on the results after I've taken time to reflect. Uh... He self-flagellates with a whip that has hooks on it. I'm not, I shouldn't be that surprised that he wants to fuck the weird uh, mutant sphincter holes now. March 15th. Fusing Samantha's DNA with the patients caused the newly regenerated spinal cord to expand drastically, forcing the vertebrae to audibly pop into even halves. Ugh. Soon after, the patient's immune system attacked the rogue spinal cells, which, in turn, retaliated by killing off all the other attached nerves. In the end, the patient succumbed to asphyxiation, as the new cells burned through the oxygenated blood more quickly than the lungs could pr produce it. Another failure, but still not a wasted body. Hmm. So, no, that's not me, because <laughs> they're very dead. It would be helpful if the one I was, was on right now would be highlighted like this, but only doesn't want to highlight it with my mouse, not to show which one I'm currently on. So that's how I accidentally clicked on the wrong space. Praise be, I've spent the day, or at least most of it, reflecting on our savior's brilliant plan. The pieces slide into place. Samantha, myself, and almighty Kane in the same facility. The planets are aligning. The end draws near, or perhaps the beginning? That we finally had uh, it's April. I'm not reading the dates, am I? May 13th. I am glad we finally found a use for Ralph. 
We have put him to a more productive task. Ha! Huh. His blasphemous lectures about how the fungal plague is the result of poor hygiene were getting on my nerves. It is Cain's doing. The plague is his retribution for our sins. How are you even on the science crew if you aren't... You can't even talk about basic scientific concepts. You can't accept that poor hygiene is why a fungal plague would happen? You think that it's Cain's magic retribution? May 30th. Tonight we test again. We'll be using the same procedure as before, but this time an enzyme inhibitor will be in introduced to prevent excessive tissue generation. We must not accept failure. We will bask in the light of Cain's restored glory. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, that he overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Revelation 2.11 June 8th. Still, the patient lives, however. It has exhibited some concerning symptoms. Although the spinal cord has stopped regenerating at an appropriate time, the arms and legs will occasionally twitch, or more accurately, flail. It seems the spine has control over the connected limbs. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. So they regenerated... They regenerated a broken spine, but then it took control over limbs? Separately from the brain? June 11th. The patient is no longer viable. After a promising start, the regeneration tissue again expanded beyond intention. Surprisingly, the patient's removed vocal cords were reconstructed. Of course, it did not understand speech. It must have been frightened by its own inhuman screaming, as it immediately tore its own throat out. After some gurgling, it regenerated within hours, then terrible screaming and bloody extraction, a cascade of rotting tissue. The previous throats began to form a dangling, bleeding scarf as the patient continued to tear itself apart. Jesus. The patient would rip itself apart, then the pieces would regenerate back, so it would keep redoing that, and then there was just copies of the destroyed body everywhere? Ugh. I'm starting to think that whoever read, whoever uh, made this read, uh, I have no mouth that I must scream for a few of these aspects. July 1st. Oh, that abomination. As far as Sharon can tell, Adam's unrighteous creation has wasted precious flesh in making a toy of some kind. Just like its creator, the abomination has been an unholy waste of resources. Even a, a name such as Hobo is an undeserved grace. It is an animal and nothing more. August 13th. Pestilence strikes. The fungal threat is weak now, but soon it will spread to our food and to our bodies. If it hasn't already, this is our first and perhaps final warning to make haste. I have traced the spores to a cargo shipment earlier in the year, but I have no idea how they became so virulent. Behold, with a great plague will Cain smite thy people, and thy children, and all thy goods. 2. Chronicles 21.14 You still think that it's Cain's magical retribution? He... It... It came from a shipment. Like, you even know where it came from. August 29th The fungus is having an observable impact on the cellular regeneration process. One patient began to develop a film of what resembled reptilian scales, complete with a secondary set of eyelids. This is unacceptable. The spinal regeneration process has been mastered. Almost any tissue can now be perfectly reconstructed, but it's impossible to get definitive results with this interference. Cain, if you truly seek rebirth, why do you hinder me so? Is this not the time? Surely there is a reason. The reason is that there's a fungal infection, and you should deal with it. Fix that. Is that where the monster came from, I wonder? October 12th. Samantha scratched several demonic scrawls into an insignificant employee's back. Wow. What a name. Oh, is Samantha the monster? It probably is. I warned them not to get close to the succubus. She is the devil. Sometimes we need to make a deal with hell in order to get closer to heaven. I don't... No, I don't think that's anywhere in the Bible, as shown by how you didn't fucking quote it. 
September 18th. Wait, those are out of order. August, September, October, December. Yeah, why? What? Forgive me, Cain. I succumbed to Sharon's temptation and had a romantic dinner rather than working late, as I should have done. Watch and pray, and ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. 1 Timothy 6 11, 12. My repetitive failure has indeed had an impact on my faith. I am being tested. For the love of Cain, I shall rise above. I did not know that I did not know that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak was a quote from the Bible, but now I know. December eight December fourth. Today I noticed that my laboratory is missing several incubators. The last inventory check was several months ago, so it could have gone missing at any time. This is undoubtedly the work of Adams, but why? He doesn't need the equipment, and I can certainly spare it. Perhaps the hobo is involved. It is disconcerting at best. The details are being stolen away. Whatever. December 15th. Time is of the essence. Samantha's escape today is likely to be the first of many, and we will eventually run out of ways to subdue her. The re-engineered grubs are producing a potent gas that is driving the beast to fluster. Whether she kills us all or we find a way to kill her first, neither outcome revives Cain. I will not rest until he has returned to inter intervene. From this point forward, I live for nothing else. Okay, so Cain is dead. It's very confirmed that Cain is already dead, and we're not just trying to make future immortality for him. He's already dead. They're trying to re revive him. For some reason, there's kidnapped pregnant women, like a lot of them. Sp like, it seems to be specific that there that has to be pregnant, right? So, yeah, I'm thinking that... I'm thinking that they're trying to clone Cain via the babies. Restraining harness. Uh. Can I get the whip? Oh yeah, it's all the way down here. All right, we got a spiked and 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 uh, hooked whip. Ooh, the hooks that he used for flagellation, which I'm super concerned about. Uh, probably better for being able to get get something at distance. You can grab onto it, right? You can grab it from a distance, and the hooks would latch onto it, and you'd get it. Restraining harness, which is a fucking cross, because of course it is. He crucified people. Tattered thermo nylon strapping and mangled clamps dangle ominously from the massive reinforced steel frame. Let's see what the lever does. Whee! Then I explode. That was nasty. Okay. Okay, wasn't ready for that. So it's a torso. It looks pregnant, kind of, but also, yeah, it's even called a womb. A uterus made of flesh and machine. The fuck? Yeah, it's totally artificial. It's way too big to be human. They made a fake w uterus. Is that where Cain is? There's even handles on it for when they want to pull it open. For like, it's like pre-built for a C-section. This is just distressing. <laughs> just generally distressing. What can I do with the whip? Can I get the PDT that's down there? Is she doing it? No, she's not. Kind of just seeing if she'll use the whip on anything. The hell do I do with that? Why would I want to do anything with it? Use the blade to cut it open? No, nope, not quite. Concern. Not sure if I can do anything else in here. Broken lever mechanism. Ah, oh, there's another lever, but it's broken. Can I use the Omni tool on it, I guess? Stupid, stupid Hadley. Why am I stupid? It's a repair item that needs to be repaired. Maybe if I rotate it sideways? 
No. Not this time, huh? Alright, well, I don't really want to be around the womb anymore, so I'm just gonna wander off from the viscous nutrient soup. Unidentifiable clumps of gore. Blech. Alright, well, I don't need to finish reading that one, because I wandered off. Haha. <laughs> I guess I'll go get access to the crew facilities. I think there's gonna be a multi-room spanning puzzle. But in the, at the moment, I'm just kind of opening up rooms and learning lore and reading people's really fucked up journals. And maybe over time we'll get it, we'll have to do something that involves multiple rooms. Because we, we had the grubs. And like the grubs were in there, but they were mentioned in there. And then Samantha's mentioned there, but shows up here behind this gate apparently. Like there's a bunch of different interconnecting variables here. Crew facilities. Lightning bolt. Play sign. Flag. Lightning bolt. It worked. This can't be how I meet my end. I have so much more inside of me. I have so much more to give to the world. <laughs> yep, this wasn't my plan either. This wasn't how it was supposed to be. You're young. You can get through this. <laughs> and then? I'm stuck. Stuck with a baby. It's not a life. It's not fair for either of us. There are other choices. Bingo! I did make a choice. It didn't end well. Women in my family have bad luck with babies. I'm continuing a proud family tradition. Wow. She's really positive on that outlook. So, this is where the monsters play. Still no sign of anyone? Uh, do plants count? This horrible place must have had more people around. What a location. This is the enjoyment place? There's a boombox. A retro tape cassette is loaded on the deck with the label Brosif Megamix 60... Come on. It's the Brosif Megamix number 69. How the fuck do you even... Uh, that's amazing, that name. Holographic tin of Juca cola Who needs sleep, Juca cola It's re... <clears throat> it's refreshing, addictive. May cause chronic insomnia, headaches, vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, hallucinations, hypertension, gastrointestinal bleeding, peripheral neurop neuropathy, cardial dysrhythmia, Cog congestive heart failure, toxic epidermal necrolysis, claustrophobic hemorrhage, and death.